one seed in the Midwest has been eliminated. Houston taken out by Miami. And next on the floor, Xavier and Texas. The Longhorns are the best seed remaining in the tournament now as a two. Xavier the three. It's a great matchup. Two high-scoring teams that led their conferences in scoring. About to meet to go to the regional final and take on the Hurricanes on Sunday. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Grant Hill, and Bill Raftery. And before we tip it, let's get some breaking news from Tracy. That's right, Jim. Texas forward Dylan DeSue is dealing with a left foot injury. He was unable to finish practice yesterday. I was told he had an MRI. They are calling it a bone bruise. He will start, but they don't know how much they're going to get out of him and how much he can run up and down the score today. All right, Tracy. Of course, he scored 28 in the game against Penn State last weekend to help get them here to the regional semifinals. And there are your first five. Boom has had quite a season at, at Xavier and you look at the Longhorns and the Longhorns iffy with DeSue what does that mean to the Texas team guys well if he's out 100 percent DeSue that's big time trouble for Texas they have great depth but he's their inside presence and has played big for the Longhorns in this tournament I'll uh, probably see a lot more of Christian Bishop for one who's great at screening and slipping but it takes away that element of playing two bigs together which they like to do and DeSue is when they need a hoop He's the guy who was at the top of his game coming in here. There's Sean Miller back at Xavier and taking them to the Sweet 16 as he had done when he was on the bench for the Musketeers back more than a decade ago. He got him to the Elite Eight in 08, back to the Sweet 16 in 09, and now this year. Ayers, Green, Chiazza, the officials. Xavier at 27-9, defeating Kennesaw State and Pittsburgh in the tournament. To make it to the Sweet 16, Texas 28-8, defeating Colgate and Penn State in round two. 